Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael the Ark here with another of my show and tell build videos. This is not a guide on how to do it. This is just showing it off to show you the direction I'm taking it in. This is probably was probably my second most fleshed out build though. Um, and I still have a long way to go, a lot of stuff to do. But uh, this is Plaque Warbot Commander. And it is dealing with the fourth skill tree. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show you the tree. Uh, the way I've got things set up. Now, this works for me. This works really good. Um, you're going to do a little bit of damage yourself. Not as much as you might in other stuff. Uh, but you're going to do a little bit of damage. And then your bot is literally going to be uh the terminator so it i've seen other people that have a build similar to this and there's really good and stuff but i want to make my own builds and this is what i came up with trying to figure out how to to do this this has taken me through uh level 65 mayhem 10 on everything uh, that i have tried so far and that would be pretty much everything except for the takedowns and the new raid boss. So starting with the purple tree, we have five, two, zero, three, one, three, zero, one, five, zero, five, and then below that everything is at zero. Um so we have the war loader. And it's very important that this is the war loader. He works much better. You'll start off with the ion loader. And the ion loader, in my opinion, is actually better than the bull loader. So I would keep it on the ion loader. Uh, you can test the bull loader if you want. But I would keep it probably on the, the ion loader until I had unlocked this tier down here with the war loader. Um, this is a... When you do the Warloader, you get the Barrage of Missiles, and he's got a shotgun. I do like him with the sniper rifle, but he seems to do a lot better with the grenades and the, the shotgun. Uh, he is just awesome. He's, he devastates everything. So we have in the blue tree, uh, going across. Now, my class mod has two into this, so it is five, three, one. One, uh, three, five, and that's one from the class mod. We have one into Psycho Head on Stick, and then zero here, and uh, with this one, zero, and then one. Here we have three and zero, and then we do not have dominance. I don't like the most of his capstones that you can go for in this. I don't really like them like this one. I just don't care for. Uh, now, for the action skills, we are using Gamma Burst. And we are using it with Atomic Aroma and Endurance. And this helps him to stay out longer. And it gives him a Radiation Aurora Aura that um constantly damages nearby enemies that's it's basically it's a thousand extra damage per second if they're around him. so it it works really good um we do not have anything in the orange tree in the green tree we have i'm just going to go across five three one uh we have three two from the class mod one zero one and one and then nothing below that. Uh, we're not going to be using any of the other stuff here like this either. Uh, fade away would be pretty good. It would probably actually give us some extra damage to Flack himself. But for this build to work, you have to have Gamma Burst. Uh, and it just it works so much better with that. Let me show you the key components of this build. Uh, which are the the things down here? Uh, you need a faulty shard, or faulty star, not shard. <laughs> faulty star. Uh, 
it has to be the shield. So on this one, I have bonus amp damage on shield break, so that helps as well. And then it has to be the red thing. Uh, you also want action skill cooldown rate and action skill damage. So I did happen to get that on this one, and that is just awesome. Uh, as you can see, I'm still using a level 42 simply because it has those. Uh, I have to go farm for one of these at level 65, and hopefully I'll farm one up one day that has both of those on it. Those are imperative to this build, though. Um, for grenades, shields, we have nothing else. For class mods, I do have a 65, but it doesn't have what I want on it. I do have a stack bot as well, but it doesn't really, uh, it's not going to help because you have to have your pet taunting the enemies so you can survive. Uh, now this, the stack bot is not a bad thing, but it's it's uh, not going to be nearly as good as the red thing for this build. The uh, grenade that I have, now I'm not using the Chupa's Ordron, but uh, I'm just using Merpexes for this. And what I am doing is I'm using the ones that have uh, own grenade throw, weapon grenade, and action skill damage are increased for 25 or by 25% for 6 seconds. So I'm going to throw these, kill, throw one as soon as I can, like as soon as they start re regenerating. They actually do regenerate pretty fast because of the, uh, the uh, Guardian rank stuff. Um, so that's. I like the ice one. I think that the ice one is working really well for me. Uh, radiation may actually work really well as, as well for me, but I think that the ice one so far has been the best. Um, as far as as far as your stuff, your your um artifact, uh, I don't really have one that I like all that much. I'm using an Ice Spiker's Moxie's Endowment right now for the Ice Spiker and the Action Skill cooldown rate. Um, but it with this grenade, this helps a lot. So. Uh, it also gives, the one reason I'm using this over the atom bomb is that this gives me movement speed. So on the atom bomb over here though, or atom bomb, uh, static charge, then I don't care about the static charge part. The atom bomb part is what I like and the action skill cooldown rate and cryo damage is what I'm looking for. I'm talking too much and not breathing enough. <laughs> I uh, then have a last stand rocket boots, and it's decent. Uh, ideally, I'd like to have a uh, a cut purse launch pad on all of my characters, and for him, I really think that an ice spiker, uh, the one that gives you twenty three percent auto idle, I think that would probably be a good one, or the pearl would be really good. I'm actually thinking about maybe doing a company man for him. I'm just not really sure. Right now, I don't have an absolute set of weapons that I say is a, a best thing for him. Uh, I do like the Storm and the Hornet with him. Uh, the Nighthawking is okay, and I have, I think I have a Flipper on him as well. I know the Destructor Spinner. The Boomer is good on him, but the Destructo Spinner, of course, is not. <laughs> um, I'm just trying out a lot of stuff. I will do a, a little run-through of uh, Athena's right quick and show you what he can do, though. So, you have to be careful of the radiation aura when you're playing with this. Uh, it will cause you to explode, so you want to be very careful of that. I'm going to prop and pull him out. There's blood everywhere. Now wait, I'm on Mayhem 1. I need to switch this off. Okay, so sorry about that. I didn't realize I was on Mayhem 1. 
Uh, we're going to proc him or pop him for that. And we want to stay back. We just want him. Do you see me? This was always your end. Go ahead and I can aim at them. Boom. You see everything is irradiated already. I, like I said, I really just stay back and let him do the damage. You're not going to do all that much damage yourself with this. I would suggest doing is just standing back shooting with the sniper rifle to be honest with you it it seems to work better than a lot of the other stuff I have switched out some of my guns let's go ahead and come out here we'll throw a grenade we'll pop him if they start attacking you all you do is you just Get out of there. Something starts attacking you, throw a grenade and pop it. This gun right here is going to do really good on every Vault Hunter there is. The Venomous Hornet, it's just a really good grenade. Our uh, gun. Now this is a Star Helix, and it's not doing all that great, but uh, this is the Boomer. see I'm sort of the supporting character in this and I don't have to do anything uh, but really find the enemy and support him marking your target it's it's a lot of fun it is efficient it works this is a really good build I love this build I just honestly I haven't played with it in a while and I don't remember which guns were best for me uh, but we're going to go on and we'll take on Tromp and I will show you that. Just to show you um, something, I didn't actually show it, but I popped him and I ran here and he killed everything in between where I was at and here without me having to do hardly anything. And there's one guy here and he'll go kill him probably. But let me show you uh, what I'm going to attempt to do Tromp with. Um, I've just got my Hornet just because it's doing damage. I got a Hellwalker because it's fire. Uh, the Storm is going to be for his shield, and we've got a Hell Shock, which will be for shield and for fire. Uh, also, I have switched over to this Merv Hex uh, with electricity so that it can I can just chuck them out, and that can take out his stuff. So, uh, in all honesty... I need much better weapons with this build, and I just have not went and got them yet. But I will be uh, doing so soon. So all of these builds, you will see new versions come out, especially when I've got when I've got them to where they work as good as the ones like the Zane build I have. If I ever get them working that good, then they definitely will be uh, upgraded and a new video put out. So let's go and just attempt to do Tromp with 
this build here. Strike now, beast! So I'm actually gonna go. Oops. Hold on. No, no, no. There we go. I want to shoot him with that. I'm going to switch. Uh, yeah, see, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> As I said, I am the supporting character in this build. Uh, so, it's it's a fun build. It's very viable. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and he, the way I built it, I gave him a lot more survivability than the other builds that I had seen. The only problem is that that nova that just keeps killing everything and it's it's because of our shields now if he gets up close to me see there we go <laughs> all right though i hope that y'all like this build because i love this build um it is my favorite plaque build and i will see y'all in the next one